because of the, uh, the virus situation, uh, we won't be meeting in church for a while. But uh, let's stay healthy, also stay in touch, stay in God. Uh, we will be uploading a new video every Sunday at 9.30 uh, with song and uh, Bible message, you know, kind of like a mini worship. So I hope you're good with that. And uh, so why don't we start with a prayer and uh, let's bow our head. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for um, being our God and finding us and seeking us. We know in the difficult time, like right now, there's a lot of chaos and confusion. Um, people panic. There's a lot of uh, anxiety in, the, in our hearts, in the family, in the community. We ask that help us to be still and know that you are God. And wherever we are, we know that your presence is always with us. That's such a, um, a very important promise that we need to remember that we have you as our God. And, uh, and we're going to spend some time together. Uh, we ask that you bless the time together and uh, help us learn, stay close to you, and stay healthy. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So now we're going to sing you know, a song and praise God together. So ready, set, and go.
So we'll be doing our scriptures reading here. Um, it's coming from Psalm 139, verse 1 through verse 10. I'll be reading the text in black. You'll be reading the text in red together with Joyce. And when we get to the last verse, which is in blue, we'll read that together. So here we go. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar you discern my going out and my lying down you are familiar with all my ways before a word is on my tongue you lord know it completely you hand me in behind and before and you lay your hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attend where can i go from your spirit where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even, even there your, your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. So hey kids, where are you guys now? You know, whether you're on the beach, you know, on your couch, or in the park, you know, even on the moon. So um, I'm right here in Social Hall, if you notice at the back. And uh, wait, you know, I think Joyce is actually calling me from the, from the kitchen. But I can't pay attention to that right now. You know, the problem is I can be right here in this room speaking to you guys and be in the church kitchen at the same time. I, I can't do that and physically it's impossible. I also can't be right where you guys are right now, but we have to remember um, while we are so limited, you know, physically by time and space, we know someone that is so mighty that is not uh, restricted by this. So uh, we know that God is everywhere, anywhere. And uh, you know, if someone asks you where God is right now, some would say that he's in heaven, which is correct. And some of you may say that he is right in my heart. That is also a correct answer because once we repented and accepted Jesus Christ as our personal savior, he lives within us. So that is true. So, but I really want to tell you today is, um, the, the thought is actually that God tells, um, the Bible tells us that God is everywhere all the time. And he's not limited by time and space like all of us could be. And uh, God is everywhere all of the time and uh, the Bible tells us that God is everywhere I think that is very important for all of us to remember um, the scripture that we read earlier in Psalm 139 um, it tells us a few things I think we can learn from that God um, knows his people like us he has to be present where we are to know us and God knows that what we are doing whether we are sitting down we're standing going out you know you may be going you know, trying to look for toilet paper or whatever, you know, he know where we are and what we're doing. Um, you know, if I ask you right now, do you know exactly where your best friend is doing right now? You may be able to take a bad guess, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure that you won't have a definitive answer. But God know exactly what everyone, are, um, where we are at the moment and what we're doing and even what we're thinking. Um, God knows that, uh, as I said, know our thoughts, our words, even before we speak. Um, he knows our thoughts, you know, because he is with us, as simple as that. Uh, we can go anywhere um, to get away from God because he is everywhere. He is right here with you. Um, if you still have school, he's, he's there with you. If you're riding a car, he's with you. Um, if you happen to, um, to have to be um, staying home because of uh, all the things happening, your school may be canceled, he's right there with you too. So I think that's important for us to, to, rem to remember. And also, it's, uh, I, I hope that it will also give you some uh, comfort that you, God's presence with, is with you. Um, also, the, the scripture that we read reminds us that God is in heaven 
in the depth, on the other side of the sea, in the dark, in the light, in the sense, God is everywhere. And God was there before we were born, and he was making us um, inside our mom's womb. So, again, God is everywhere in any time. Now, what does that have to do with us? Um, I think right now your school or all your other, um, all your other activities may be temporarily paused. Um, there won't be much that you can do. Um, I personally am also required to work from home. Uh, I've been doing that for over a week already. Um, we spend more time at home and see less people. Um, at first, you know, we may really feel that we have more time to do whatever we we are, well we want to do. It sounds cool and all that. Um, you may think that hey, I now have more time to spend on YouTube, TikTok, or any online games. But I'm telling you, eventually, um, you know, we're all gonna feel lonely in this contained situation. Um, we just have to be realistic. Um, but I want you to remember, God is everywhere, anytime, and most important, He is right there where you are right now. So um, you really have the best companion in God. And remember, we also have to, we can also um, worship God wherever you are. So remember that. So I really encourage all of us to, to stay close to God, read the Bible, um, read the devotion books that well, we have given you guys in the earlier part of the year, and also use the material um, in the link below, okay? Um, we all have to just stay healthy, stay in touch, stay in God. So until then, I'll see you next time. We will be right here next Sunday at 9.30. All right.